looked at like GCSE food preparation and nutrition. It's a full GCSE. Um, and I would say if you enjoy cooking and you have done year seven, eight and nine with me, then this may be the GCSE for you. You don't have to be good at cooking. Um, as long as you are interested in it and prepared to cook every week, then that is fine by me. I'll help you to do the rest. The GCSC um, basically focus on four main areas, cooking food, um, which, I, <coughs> excuse me, which I've just said, the food science, we do quite a lot of food science, um, look at nutrition and we focus on healthy eating. The good thing about it as a subject, it has many cross-curricular links, it links human science, your sports science, geography, art and maths to say but a few. Um, Basically, the way I run it, we focus on food commodities. And my teaching is done through that. The, if I break the year into six terms, so term one, we focus on fruit and vegetables, and then term two, milk, cheese, and yogurt. <coughs> excuse me. And then within each one, I look at nutrition, good health, science, where the food comes from, and um, different food and uh, different cooking techniques. The assessment is written um, is in two parts. You have an exam at the end of year 11, which is worth 50%, both short and long questions. And then you have a um, non-examination assessment or coursework, another 50%, which is broken into two parts. The first one is a food investigation, which takes about eight hours. You can see there it's worth 15%. And then you have a cooking task, um, which is about 16 hours, worth 35%. The food investigation, um, they get a task like this one. They, they come from the exam board. The success of a cream sponge mixture relies on suitable raising agents. They investigate the success of different raising agents when making a creamed sponge. So to do that, as it says on the previous slide here, you have to do some research. You then carry out a practical, which you plan yourselves. You analyze your results, evaluate the task. And then you produce a report uh, with all the evidence in, including photographs um, of it. You should be sort of aiming to um, do some experiments, a little, little bit like that. The, um, then the food preparation assessment is um, basically the exam board give you a task like this, uh, very very open-ended. A local restaurant in your area is holding an international week. Research, prepare and cook three dishes with accompaniments that could be served on a themed menu to promote the cuisine of a specific country or region. Um, you have to, as I put here, produce a portfolio of evidence, again, which including photographs, charts, graphs, um, you're, um, showing what you can cook. Um, you have to research it, you plan it, you to cook in a, you have a cook your three dishes in a three hour session, and then you have to evaluate it afterwards. So that is your, um, you're really showcasing what you can, what you have learned in the practical sessions with me. Again, that, those two pieces of coursework are done in year 11. Just to show you some sort of examples of previous students' work um, you've got here, some of them you'll see that you have cooked in year nine, um, but again, it's all based on skills. So um, homework, I tend to give you um, an exam question each week um, based on the theory. I'm a great believer um, in the, the um, exam board. We cycle a lot of the exam questions and building up your technique. So um, do a lot of practice in that. And I like for you to do an evaluation of the practical that you have made. Examples of dishes that we have cooked here, I'm not going to name them all, but we work through all of these. And as I said to you, I basically work through these um, under the headings of commodities that um, we do in each term. So starters, you've got different desserts there, folks on that case are using gelatine. Um, you'll notice mince meat and mince pies sit there. Um, come back to that in a second. Custard, pavlova, you're hungry now. Um, different meats or fish dishes. Can I add in there, if you are a vegetarian, it's absolutely no problem whatsoever. As long as you know how to debone a chicken and you know how to fillet a fish, then that is fine. We do a lot of focus on pastry making, which I've done with you in um, year seven, eight and nine. Um, we do bread for capture, for example, hot crust buns, some quite a few different cakes. 
um, at Christmas, I do take time out to focus on Christmas cooking, as you can see there. So the students have make their own mince meat, um, as we see got a jar of it there, and then they use that to make their own mince pies. Um, we also do as practical, we do an investigation, which is a practice of coursework. We do this on year 10. I normally give you the, the brief, is it worth making your own butter? Um, and then you, you make your own butter, add some cream, and then you taste it and compare it with shop bought butter, which I prefer. Then you write me a mini report on that. And then there's more cooking here, which students have done in the past. Some are good, some are not so good. Um, and lastly, the last question is, what can you do with, do with it as a GCSE? You can see those um, that a few different careers that I have put up there. Alternatively, you might just decide to use it as a GCSE, um, which allows you to be creative, um, bring up, do some practical work. You don't have to go into a career with it. Um, so it does have plenty of openings um, if you so wish. And then Last question, last point is, if you've got any questions, email me or come and see me in M18 if we're back at school at that point. The only other thing to say is that the exam board that I do is EDUCAS, which is part of WJEC. So, I shall see you all and thanks very much.